Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I I had a lot of fun recording the Tiny Living Plus overview last week. So I figured I would go in and show you some more cool CC for tiny homes for today. And so I've made a lovely little sim. Her name's Adriana. This is what she looks like. She's pretty. And she's a bit of a green thumb. Um, she's... Uh, Story-wise, she's kind of just graduated from university, and yeah, I just wanted to build her something super fun. That's a very weird shadow coming through. Don't know what it is, but that's not important right now. What is important right now is I want to build her a tiny home with lots of room for um, uh, just like gardening and stuff like that, but also enough room for it to feel like a home and all that sort of fun stuff. So I'm gonna get straight into it and do what I can and I'm gonna start off. I know at least I, I need that bit. So we'll start with that. Um, now I like the idea of doing like a caravan, but I also like the idea of having certain bits that kind of are like pop outs, if that makes sense. Like, you know how some caravans and stuff are. I don't know. I'm just trying to come up with ideas here to make it not a box. But it can be a box, like, if we really want. I could go for the wagon vibe. That's fine. That's 32 there, yeah. Okay. So, if we go for the wagon vibe here, then. I'll, um... Well, I don't know why I keep saying wagon. Oh. That's... That's why there's a shadow there. <laughs> Let's forget they were there. And um, I'm going to just pop this box up here. Delete this one and lower this down. Not too far down. I still inevitably went too far down. Um, so we are now floating above the ground. I... What do I want to do? Where do I want my entrance is probably going to be the next question. And I think maybe to the side here. I think that would be quite nice. Is that a good... It looks like a good height. So that's good. I'm not sure how I feel about the positioning of this. Maybe I want to rotate it. And it totally got rid of the... Oh, yeah, it's ignored the stairs. That's great. Should have moved the whole lot. I think I like it better on the side. I think it's got more of a kind of caravan park vibe. I'm just going to pop that there for now. Um, I need to work on the floor plan quickly. Um, so I'm going to do this. And I'm going to give us... I kind of want a slightly bigger bathroom in this one because I feel like I can. Um, let's go with that. It could be bigger. We could make it bigger. Um, and I'll show you why I feel comfortable making a slightly bigger bathroom shortly. Um, I feel like that's a solid floor plan for this. Um, yeah, kind of like that. So I will stick in a front door and we do have a lovely little uh, set that was made specifically for tiny homes and with tiny homes in mind. Uh, it's a recolor of the get famous door here and then we also have a one tile door as well that matches that looks like this one. So I will match up i think yeah that's that works and for interior doors i will just stick with some standard ones from the game that one works pretty perfectly there um windows are going to be an interesting one and i will show you why so the gist here is to create a bit more room for our for our sim we have these bed platforms that just go in like this 
There's a 3x3, a 2x3, and then a 4x3. And then there are specific bat um, mattresses that are specifically for platforms. And you can just pop them on the top there and they work perfectly. Um, likewise, there is a, um, a bed frame that looks like this, which is kind of like a loft double bed. So that is an option too. But I think for today, I like the idea of it being a bit more... Just more like a platform, I guess. I'm gonna see if there's a cool... I like that pattern, actually. I think I'm gonna go with that pattern. And I'm just gonna pop that there. Now, we've got a lovely sim on hand for um, playtesting, but I will show you the animation very quickly for this bad boy. If you go up there and take a nap, as long as you keep these side bits open, as far as I know, they should be able to um, should be able to use the bed as normal. There we go. See, perfect. Oh. <laughs> so you can see animation isn't quite perfect. They do sit on the edge of the bed. Um, sometimes they stand up um, next to the bed, and it puts them all the way up here, but it's it works. It's definitely a thing that works. Um, you can't, unfortunately, just lift normal beds up, um, which is why people have had to go about doing it like this. Um, this is by Around the Sims 4, and a lot of what I'm going to be showing you today is also by Around the Sims 4, so I figure that would be quite cool to just have like a a cohesive kind of this is the around the sims 4 tiny home stuff thing and i think i'm going to move this over here uh, i think it gives us some more room for windows um i'm gonna do some big windows in the front here i believe there was windows that came yeah there's some around the sims 4 you've got round ones kind of like little tiny little caravan ones as well as these sort of ones which are great for up here um i still need a mod everybody uh that um allows you to do multiple windows on a um on a thing because I, I i want it so bad because this just doesn't doesn't fill me with enough joy as of right now um so we've got some light coming in on the top there. I'm going to try doing some light in the bottom here to kind of even it out. Because you wouldn't necessarily have just light up the top because that would be very dark under there. Um, and then I don't know if I like that there. We'll, we'll go, we'll work through this as we go. Um, so I'm really into this platform area. Um, we also have a decoration ladder that we can put in for this. Um, and they actually created multiple different ways to um, do the stairs down from this platform. Uh, you've got a collection of different like surfaces that all like step down from each other. One of them's like a dresser and one of them's a bookshelf. Um, and they all like form like little steps, as you might see in some like tiny homes in real life. Um, but there's also a ladder, as well as just a little sh step shelf. Um, today, I think I'm going to go with the ladder. I think the ladder works fine. Um, I believe it's no. This one is for. This one's a wall decoration one. This one is a freestanding. So I'm going to put this. Um, just there. That, oh, it's not quite matching. There we go. Might as well put it like that. Um, a part of me wants to get rid of those walls, but a part of me wants to keep them. It's very bizarre. Don't ask me why. Um, I think I'm cool with the ladder there. Let me look at this with the walls up. Oh, I, I feel like that works. You've got like a little living space under there that's quite tucked in and cosy which i can deal with um so i think that's fine um as for um dresses and stuff i 
want to put something up here, but I don't know how it's going to work. So we'll just have to have a look and see. We want a dresser. I'm going to go with the small boxes. These are the Realm of Simbler ones. I will once again put the links in the description. And I will raise this up so that it can be at the top here. That's too low. That's there. That's floating annoyingly. But um, we could make it work with like a shelf underneath it or something. Just to give it something to prop itself up on. Uh, for the meantime, I just want to play test this. Um, I will just get her to go into her formal. Come on. Walk over here. Yep, so that works fine. It's just higher up. That's absolutely fine then. So, out you come. Also, digging the dress. Animation's a little funky on it, but digging the dress. So now that we know that these are usable from higher up, it could be cool to do either like some slightly taller ones, um, since we've got the room for it. Does that peek through the bottom? No, that I think that works fine as a placement. So we could do one that height. We'll have a look at the one full height and see if that fits. I imagine it will. That fits really nicely, actually. So what we've got here is we're actually making this work quite nicely as like a dresser space which is awesome because it is so high up that one needs to come down um how do i want this it'd be cool to have like a um a couple of these there then maybe a shelf next to it as like a little vanity I'm just spitballing here. I have no idea whether any of this will work. Um, that's not the kind of colour of shelf I wanted. I kind of want to match up the woods in here because we have got so much and the way the tiny home stuff has been made in a lot of instances is exactly the same like wood pattern that was in the original. So let me find something. So we've got this little shelf here. This is an element from the Peacemaker Hamptons built-in set. Uh, that set is really nice. You can do things like you can do, for example, where is all the stuff for it? I think it's in the shelves actually. So you could have like little cabinets that span a whole wall if you wanted to. And you can also do seating versions. So you could create your own custom bay windows or anything along those lines. And here are like the, here's a extra long bay window seat and there's the cushion on it so people can actually sit on it. Um, so it's got cool stuff in it like that. It's really handy for like certain like family homes work well with this sort of stuff. So um, it's definitely a cool one to keep your eye out for. Um, next thing I want is a mirror. Let's see what we have to play with here. And I want one that can be raised without too much hassle. Now some windows are good and allow you to place things up high, like for example this one and this one. But annoyingly the Maxis original ones are a bit less fun. I think I like the shell. I haven't used the shell actually. This is a brand new set from um, Peacemaker that came out literally a few days before I recorded this. This is um, this is a set called the Koba bedroom set, I believe, and it has a lot of nice like bedroom furniture in. But I feel like this clamshell is awesome, and it it works up here as just like a nice decorative piece because we haven't got much room for deco, as you might be able to see. So I'm gonna not look at the lines of the drywall because they're off-putting at the moment and I'm going to centre it up on what we've got left of this shelf space. So it's already coming together as being like a cute little nook for um, makeup and stuff and I believe there's a cosmetics tray 
in amongst our standard clutter. I know there's one, come on. Right, decorations, clutter. I know it exists. It's a makeup tray of some sort. Makeup tray. Oh, it's called makeup tray, that's why. And that actually already looks perfect just there as it is. Um, we got one that suits the colour scheme a little better. You know, I think that this purple one here is probably our best bet because it kind of does go with the purple that's in our, um, our dresses here. I think it's really nice. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just move this shelf out temporarily. Eh. Line it up. Move that out. Then I can move this wherever I want. And I'm going to place these nail polishes. Oh, they've got... I forgot that this um, platform has slots in as well. How frustrating. Um, I don't really feel like moving everything out, so I think for the sake of this... Oh my goodness, this is proving difficult. There we go. I'll just keep it there like that. I think that's absolutely fine. And I really want to get a poof going on over here. So I think the best bet for having like a poof would be to get the tiny living table poof going because it's a table and it won't like, people won't try and sit on it or anything like that. Um, so that's kind of where I'm thinking with this. So I could in theory just like have this over here and then she's got a little makeup poof that she can it makes me want to put the um everything a little bit higher if that's at all possible yeah i think that works for sure um maybe change out the mirror now um i will instead go with we've got this little one from the bathroom set I don't want to use the bathroom in every single <laughs> thing I do though, which is a bit of a pain. Um, this one's super cute. It's a bit childish, unfortunately. Uh, it does have all sorts of cute little faces on it though. I can't tell if that's quite the vibe I'm up for. So I think I'm going to leave that one and maybe... Oh, that one's a bit too high. This one seems about perfect, actually, to be honest with you. This is from Peacemaker once again. And this is the Atwood Living um, mirror. And I think if I put that there, I think this has come together really nicely so far. I love it. I love this little area. Um, I will jazz it up with some candles, maybe. So I'll pop into lighting and do some candles. Um got a bunch of these from the Plum Bob Tea Society Rustic Romance and some mason jar ones from the Plum Bob Tea Society Cottage Garden sets. I think they're very nice as well as some that we got from Harry and there's some in the bathroom set as well so definitely lots of options for candles here. Um, just want to pop a few in here and there just make it look a bit more it's fun. I think even just those two um, is already making it kind of cute and maybe dot in a few plants here and there. I'll um, go with this little cactus mug. This is a little decoration item from a little set that was called Plant Mum I think. Um, by Sim GG UK. She's also got a few little succulent pots and all sorts of stuff, so I will definitely pop that one in the um in the description as well. I kind of don't want to go too far off of normal slots, annoyingly, because of having to pull everything out in order to um you know what, let's just let's just do it. I think it's time. 
that needs to stay where it is. I don't know why I did that. Right, so we want that on there. I think I want that on there as well. And do I want anything else while I'm here? I'll grab one of the tiny living succulents as well. The tiny living plus ones. Oh, and this lovely flower. This is from the cottage garden set as well. So I will pull those out, keep them at the same height. Lovely. Move this out here and then we can organize this properly. Have to be very careful not to uh, lose the slots, the height of the slots while I'm uh, so close to a bunch of other surfaces. But if we put this back in here, that looks quite sweet, I'd say. Um, I'm going to do the same for this candle here, as well as the nail polish that we had going on. And we'll pop that up there. And I'll pop the candle right in the corner with nail polishes just next to it. Now, don't do this in real life, kids. Nail polish is kind of flammable. Don't do it. I'm sure you're all watching this know that by now, but still. I like that a lot, and I, I love where that's gone. I love it so much. Look, it's like a whole bedroom area that's come together really, really nicely. Oh, it makes me super happy. Uh, definitely want to do something on this side too. Just to give them a little something. Maybe like a bedside table or two. We can get something working. So I do have these cute little end tables. These are from the minimalist bedroom stuff by Illogical Sims. Uh, Illogical Sims also made the Tiny Living Plus. And these are like little tiny platforms that can go next to your bed. I kind of like them. I think I'm going to join it up to the bedding. So it looks kind of like it's part of the bed platform. Kind of as if the mattress has this bit built into it or something like that. I think that works really nicely. I'm going to pop this out for a sec because I do want to do a bit more decoration. Don't know why I said it like that. Um, this wood is really annoying because it's a bit too orange for our um, thing that we got going on. So I think I'm going to go with this blue shade. It's kind of similar to the purple that we got going on in our dresses. So that's what I'm going to go with there. Um, also, these um, suitcases might have been a nice touch as a dressing table. Not dressing table, a um, bedside table if you didn't want to grab the minimalist garden stuff. I need to kind of limit the amount of these um, packs that I'm using. So I will go with either some like cottage garden rustic romance um, or something similar that we've already used. Um, and then I'll just go with a... That one's a bit big. But it should be good. I will just move out the um, thing. Just move that to maybe like the corner of it a bit more. There we go. And then we can this back over and nestle it back in i think that's fine on um decorations to be honest with you i don't want to go too crazy tiny homes are kind of minimal in their um own respect so i'm just gonna go with it like that and then we'll get some artwork on the walls in just a second i'm gonna try and see where we can get with wallpaper now i like this one because we've got like the wood at the bottom and then the color at the top it's like a good split so it looks like they are two separate rooms like completely fully fledged different rooms which i like i really like that um i may go with a slightly different color i might try the lilac i think the lilac looks really nice I think that works beautifully so we'll, we'll stick with that 
and I've accidentally done it around the whole room, but that's fine. We can work that out later. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to do a bit of artwork on the walls. See what we what what is speaking to me for this sim. That's minimalist bedroom stuff as well. Annoyingly, there's only two different variations of the tree. I was, I was hoping to get like three along here. Uh, which, I mean, in theory means probably best idea to go with just our standard tiny living ones. But there is also some really cool small images like this one, for example, which is owls. There's loads of options in this one. This is by Peacemaker. Um, but I think maybe for this instance we'll do standard tiny living. Also another one to mention is these gorgeous cross stitches. We ha I have so many different options of cross stitches. There's nine different cross stitch sets, each with a lot of swatches in and they've all got their own interesting patterns and stuff so that's another honourable mention. I could see if we've got some nice plant heavy ones. Um, we've got animals, um, boho, floral could be an interesting one. That's for sure kind of cute. Um, I'll just put three out that are the same for now and we will go in and see what we've got we've got gorgeous selection in here which is awesome i think even just those three is very cute uh maybe something with a bit more of a stark white background for this one here like that one awesome i think these look gorgeous yeah i like that and that's a nice little bit of decoration for her bedroom. Um, in terms of blinds and stuff, it could be very difficult for this space. Uh, even these are a little too big, a bit tall. Um, but I will see what we can do. These are about the right size, actually. So if we got... We got a nice blue. Nah. I feel like the lilac is a little samey, so if we go for the... Ooh, maybe not even the blue, maybe the red. Just to match the bedding and the, um, the poof there. I've gone in and put the tiny living paintings up here by the dresser. Um, I think they're super cute. I might go for, um, a different set, actually. Maybe this set would be quite cute. Yeah. I for sure like that. Um, and these are really super tiny. Like, I had to size them down a good four times. Um, and I would stick something above there. Um, but I have a sneaking suspicion that the ceiling ends up going there. So we can... I, I put that in wrong. Let me... Gotta love a good quarter tile placement moment. There we go. But I'm fairly certain if we were to go into, for example, live mode and get the walls up go onto the next floor tab in and try and get a good look in here yes yeah, see uh we're a lot closer to the ceiling than we thought but i've got to say place is looking super warm and we lost a candle somehow don't know where um but this place is looking super warm and kind of cozy and if we look at it from like down here, as you come in, you got this cute little nook and I love it. I think it's awesome. So I'm actually gonna leave it there for this episode because uh, it turned out I spent way too long on this and I think maybe we do the rest of the house in a different video. I kind of didn't realize I was gonna go quite so ham on this today, but maybe we make this a really awesome, like, let's build or something like that um i'm still going along and putting stuff in here because i i can't help myself um i'll add a few more things since we've got the opportunity to these framed prints 
of different um, like plants and stuff. It's br brilliant. I love it. Looks like there's slightly more options with the black, but I like the slightly more natural wood frame. Um, might put those in. We've also got the little painting guys from uh, Tiny Living Plus that I'm kind of into as well. Um, but I kind of want to get finished up here because I'm actually recording this in a break between, um, like, this is my lunch break. I'm working from home and I just figured I might as well get this done now because um, it's out later today and I really wanted to get it out and I had the idea fresh in my mind. So, yeah. Um, what am I going to do? I want something up here just to give it a bit more life. Um, I think we go with those little framed prints. Oh, we got clothespin ones as well. Oh, you know what? Clothespins. That's what's happening. We're doing the clothespin ones. We'll grab a few. I want botanical ones as opposed to plant ones. Um, and then maybe we'll go with... If we size that down a little bit. And we go for a different pattern. Have we got any plant ones in here? Nothing's speaking to me, actually. Um... In which case, I will go with... There's some sketches somewhere, isn't there? Still life sketches? Ah, oh, I can't do that because I've actually got a sim in here. Typical. Uh, I'm not going to spend any time writing that cheat now. Um, what's... I'm still struggling for what's going to speak to me in this particular occasion. Have we got any plants in this one? No. Um, that works quite like that there that's the movie hangout stuff one um, and I will budge these along just a tiny bit and I might grab one more and just make it a little bit larger oh they've even got scroll ones oh they're so beautiful um, I'll put that one there just as something to extend it out to the uh, to the bed area. I love it. I love it so much. Um, yes, I'm going to have to leave it here because it's taken a while and i got to edit it and get it out for tonight and got to get back to my work. So <laughs> I uh, thank you all ever so much for watching. Um, I hope you're enjoying this. I've had so much fun doing this. And if you're interested in more of these kind of either real-time builds as a whole or CC overview sort of things. Just let me know. Keep it coming. And I will uh, for sure do that. So yeah. See you all in the next one.